Here are some more thrillers I recommend. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I've got for you Thriller Recommendations Part Dose. So the first one I did will have linked up here if you want to check that out. Um, I've got a new list of books, seven of them, which I have physical copies of, and the other one I do not, but I'm going to talk about it because it was a really good book. So, like we said before, uh, if you like any of these books, we'll have them linked down below. Check them out. Also, don't forget to check out the podcast every Monday. Uh, our Instagrams are down there. Goodreads are down there. All that stuff's down there. All that fun, cool stuff. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's, uh, let's get this list started. All right. First book I'm going to talk about is The Passengers by John Mars. So this is my first and I believe only John Mars book I've read so far. I think I would like to keep. I, I want to read another one by him. Uh, I think there's three of them so far. There's this one. There's one that also just came out. And then there's one that I was told I need to read before I read the third one that just came out recently. Because it's got major like plot points in it in the third book. So this is one I had to read. I have to read the one before it. I don't remember what they are. Sorry. Um, but I did give this one, I think it was 4.5 stars. All these are pretty much above 4 stars. The Goodreads down below will have all the answers you seek for star ratings exactly. But I want to say this was about 4.5 stars. Um, so this is about 8 random strangers who are in uh, smart driving cars. Uh, it's not like set like in 100 years or something like that. It's like relatively recent timing. Pretty much what happens is something gets rigged and this woman is pretty much like left in this room watching all these security cameras of the eight cars that are going on. A voice is like pretty much saying hey you got eight random strangers here every whatever amount of time one of them is going to die. If you do not do this then by I think it's like five hours or something like that I could be way off of the timing. After X amount of time all the cars will collide at once in one location. It's a very solid book. I absolutely loved it. And I, like I said, I give it four and a half stars. I would definitely read it. So there you have The Passengers by John Mars. The second book I'm going to talk about is one that I actually have read very recently. Uh, and it is called The Plot by Jean Hamp Corlitz. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sorry, uh, Jean. Five star book. Probably the best thriller I've read this year. I won't say of all time, but it's definitely in the top like three. It's very good. Um, so it's about a author who wrote a book. His name is Jake, and he's kind of on the down low. He's you know kind of in a slump with writing books, and what he does is he decides to go to this university to kind of help teach writers. And there's this kid there named Evan Parker, who pitches him this book idea and. The, the Jake is like, holy crap, that's actually a pretty solid story. And what eventually happens is Evan passes away, and then Jake writes a book that's this dude's plot line because it never got released. And then Jake starts getting harassed by this person saying, I know about the story, I know the truth, you stole it. And Jake is now in a full panic and is trying to figure out what the heck is going on who this is, and he dives into the to Evan's past, you know, his family stuff, all that. He tries to figure out who it could be, you know, past students he talks to. He talks to a bunch of people, and the reveal at the end of this book is phenomenal. It's literally within the last probably 30 minutes of the audiobook, so like the last like 15 pages. It's... It's massive, and Danielle loved it, I loved it, she gave it five stars, I gave it five stars. Probably the best thriller book I've read. I mean, I'll admittedly say that now. It's so good. Some parts drag, but that's how it is with most, most books. So, there you have the plot. Alright, the next book I'm going to talk about is one that I do not physically have, and that is The Good Sister by Sally Hepworth. There it is. Or here it is. We'll put it in one of my hands over here. So it's about these two sisters named Rose and Fern, and what happens is in their childhood, you kind of get, between the chapters, you actually kind of get, like, stories from one of their perspectives as a child and how, like, abusive the mother was and how she treated one like a queen and the other one like a bitch. 
and it was not good. And in the future, you jump ahead, and one of them is a librarian and is married, and or no, is not married. She actually is not married. So she's a librarian. She meets this guy, and the other sister lives somewhere else, is married, and apparently they can't have kids. And so the other sister's like, you know what? I'll help him out. She meets this guy. They end up, you know, hooking up. She ends up getting pregnant, and she says she's going to give her the baby, and a whole bunch of stuff goes wrong. And it's a very solid story. I really loved it. Uh, the twist is really solid with it. I absolutely love this book. Uh, the Good Sister by Sally Hepworth. Very good book. So there you have The Good Sister. Before I start talking about the next book, what I'm going to say is a lot of these synopses I'm giving are just vague because I do not want to spoil anything for you guys. Um, and I'm really not trying to dive deep into the book to describe it to you because I don't want to spoil too much. So... Just throwing that out there, if you want to know more information, a couple of these I have vlogged, and also we'll have the books posted down below, and if you want to read the synopsis there from there, go ahead. Alright, the next book I'm going to talk about is The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. So, this book was really solid. I put this in my uh, Thriller Books with Big Twists. I think that's what the video is called. We'll post that up here if you want to check that out. This book was really solid. I enjoyed the heck out of it. It's about this uh, psychiatric doctor named Theo who's got a patient whose name is Alicia and she isn't talking. Uh, she witnessed her husband get murdered and a according to her it was a murder. According to everybody else she's the murderer. And so Pretty much this doctor is just trying to figure out, like, okay, what did you do? What happened? Like, what's going on? What did you see? And the twist you get at the end of this book, oh my goodness. It is very solid. I absolutely love the twist at the end of this book, which I talk about it in that video. Um, I don't spoil it, though, I don't think. And I'm not going to spoil it now. So if you want to read this, we have a link down below. Check it out. Very solid book. I, I loved it. I'm pretty sure I gave it four and a half stars. Could have been five. Four stars? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, there you have uh, The Silent Patient. All right, the next book I'm going to talk about is Here and Gone by Halen Beck. So this I gave five stars. I think it was a five star. Um, so this is about a woman named Audra and her two kids who are traveling to California. They're fleeing an abusive husband, and on the way there, she gets pulled over by a police officer. And in doing so, the police officer actually takes the two children, and then all hell breaks loose for Audra. Um, pretty much she's being lied to and being told that kids were never even in the car. And it's a very weird twist, and it actually is a weird story. I absolutely loved it, and I love the ending. It was a really solid book. I don't think this was... I that was... I don't remember if this was part of the Silent Patient thing. I don't think it was. This was maybe its own video? It could have been in a separate video. I don't remember. But book, really solid. Gave it five stars. Probably in the same running as the plot for best thriller book I've read this year. So there you have Here and Gone by Halen Beck. Let's get into this next book, and that is No Exit by Taylor Adams. So this book was really solid. This is a, about a student named Darby. So she's on her way to visit her dying mother in Colorado. She gets stopped by a huge blizzard and ends up in, I believe, a gas station. Uh, it's like a rundown gas station, and there's more survivors in there. And on her way out to go to her car to grab something, she sees a little kid in a cage in the back of a van. And from there, she's pretty much just trying to figure out how the kid got there, why the kid is even there, and... It's a very exciting story, and the twist at the end of this book was really solid. I believe this was another five-star read for me, and I absolutely love this book. So, uh, please check it out. Very cool book. There you have No Exit by Taylor Adams. All right, the next book I'm going to talk about was actually in the same reading vlog as The Silent Patient with big twists at the end, because this book has got a really solid twist, and that is The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. So this is about a husband named Ted who is on a flight to Boston, and he meets this woman named Lily, Lily at the airport. And he's like, you know, I hate my wife. I know she's kind of cheating on me. And she goes, well, no, why don't we just kill her? And he's just like, okay, let's do it. 
And uh, a lot of things ensue. I, I, the problem is, like, the book is spoilery right at the beginning. I can literally only tell you that part about what happens. Otherwise, the whole rest of the book is destroyed. Um, I want to say it's told in three parts, three different perspectives. So, it's a very solid book. I think I gave this four stars, four and a half stars. Uh, maybe even five. I don't remember. Again, good reads. Check it out. Um, very solid book. I loved it all the way through. Um, there you have The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. All right, the last book I'm going to talk about is One by One by Ruth Ware. Uh, this was in a winter reading vlog, which was one of the first vlogs I did this year. I think it had Dreamcatcher and the Winter People, so all the books in that was like four and a half or better, because I think I gave this four and a half. Could have been just a four. I don't remember. Um, but it was a very solid book, and how this works is it's about a company who developed this app called Snoop, and it's a very stupid app. I will literally say that up front. The app's pr like premise is dumb as shit. doesn't make any sense. Like, how it works is, if you are interested in wanting to know what, let's say, um, Alex Rodriguez is listening to right now on his, on music app or whatever, go on Snoop and you can hear with him the exact same time he's listening to it. Why does that intrigue anybody? Like, I don't care what the hell Gordon Ramsay's listening to right now. I, I'm just throwing random names out because that's how it works. It's random celebrities. You download the app. If they happen to be listening to a song, guess what? You can listen to the exact same thing. There's also a thing called a radio and a car. And typically the same stations play the same things. So it's kind of a dumb app in my opinion. But that's besides the point. Ideally, the company meets up at the ski resort and everyone just kind of starts getting picked off one by one. Or Ruth Ware. And pretty much dying. Somebody's killing them all, nobody can figure out who it is, and eventually it is revealed and it is a pretty solid twist. I actually really enjoyed this book. Um, the, like I said, the only thing I hated about this book was the app idea. It was so dumb. Um, but, I mean, solid book nonetheless. Absolutely solid book. Ruth Ware has been pretty good for me. Uh, I also read The Turn of the Key by her and it was very good. So, there you have one by One by Ruth Ware. Alright guys, so these are, well, these are seven thriller books that I recommend. The eighth one is not here, and that's The Good Sister. So, very solid stuff. I loved all these books, and they are they all will be linked down below if you want to check them out. Again, I could not go in further detail with them because of, obviously, spoilers. Um, but yes, all of them were about four stars or better. Very solid books. Loved all of them. Please check them out. Also, don't forget to look at our podcast, which is down below, our Instagrams, all that fun stuff. What are some thrillers you recommend? What are some ones you've been reading lately that you want me to possibly look at? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Later.